Lincoln Macaulay Alexander was the first black Canadian member of parliament, cabinet minister, and lieutenant governor of Ontario. In recognition of his many important accomplishments, January 21st has been recognized as Lincoln Alexander Day across Canada since 2015. Oh, you didn't know that? Well, it's time to educate. Lincoln Alexander was the oldest son of Caribbean immigrant parents. His mother, May Rose, was from Jamaica, and his father, Lincoln, from St. Vincent. At the time, job opportunities were limited for black Canadians. Though his father was a carpenter by trade, he worked as a sleeping car porter for the Canadian Pacific Railway. His mother worked as a maid. After his mother and father separated when he was a teenager, Alexander lived with his mother in Harlem for a few years. It was in Harlem where he met role models that held greater position than those available to black Canadians at the time. He returned to Toronto in 1939, shortly after the start of the Second World War. Though he was too young to enlist, he worked as a machinist in a factory in Hamilton, making anti-aircraft guns for the war effort. In 1942, Alexander joined the Royal Canadian Air Force, a branch of the armed forces that often restricted non-whites from entering service. Because Alexander had poor eyesight, he was not eligible for combat. He was trained instead as a wireless operator and in 1945 was honorably discharged with the rank of corporal. After the Second World War, Alexander turned to higher education. He earned a BA from McMaster University in 1949, followed by a degree from Osgood Hall Law School in 1953. He first practiced law at a small firm in Hamilton before starting his own firm as a lawyer. In 1965, he was appointed the Queen's Counsel, an honorary title that recognizes a lawyer's contribution to the legal profession. Alexander entered politics in 1965, running as a Conservative Member of Parliament for Hamilton West, but was defeated by less than 2,500 votes. Three years later, on June 25, 1968, he won the seat, making him the first Black Canadian to sit in the House of Commons. He was re-elected four times, serving a total of 12 years. In 1978, Alexander was appointed Minister of Labour in the Joe Clark government, becoming the first black Canadian to serve in cabinet. In 1980, he resigned his seat when Ontario Premier Bill Davis appointed him chair of the Ontario Workers' Compensation Board. In 1985, Alexander was sworn in as Ontario's 24th Lieutenant Governor the first black Canadian to be appointed a vice-regal position in Canada. In this position, he was able to take an active role in the multicultural affairs of Ontario. His mandate was to fight racism, advance the causes of youth, and advocate for seniors. In 1991, when his term in office was up, Alexander accepted the post as Chancellor of the University of Guelph, where he served an unprecedented five terms. In the year 2000, Alexander was appointed chair of the Canadian Race Relations Foundation, an organization dedicated to ending racism and racial discrimination in Canada. Alexander died in his sleep on October 19, 2012, at the age of 90. He was known for his sound judgment and his compassion. Schools were named after him in Hamilton, in Ajax, and Mississauga, as well as an expressway in Hamilton, commonly called the Link in reference to Alexander's nickname. In 2013, the Legislative Assembly of Ontario declared January 21st of each year Lincoln Alexander Day, citing his life as an example of service, determination, and humility, always fighting for equal rights for all races in our society, and in doing so without malice. He changed attitudes and contributed greatly to the inclusivity and tolerance of Canada today. On January 21st, 2015, Lincoln Alexander Day was observed across Canada for the first time. And now you know just how influential Lincoln Macaulay Alexander was. Mm -hmm.